Hi, I'm Lionel Donovan, and it's my privilege to join you as MC of NAM's Virtual Unity Benefit. The Northwest African American Museum is such an important cultural institution. This evening is all about supporting NAM, a museum that does so much to support our community and region. NAM is an organization with a big heart, a big vision, and a big mission. They make major impact educationally, culturally, civically, and artistically. Tonight, you'll hear about NAM's important work, from national collaborations to creating transformative community programs in the middle of a pandemic. And you'll get to enjoy the work of four Pacific Northwest artists whose work has been showcased at NAM. Jeremy Bell is a portrait artist whose Utopian Blackness exhibition was on display at NAM. His masterpieces of art mesmerized audiences from across the region. Jeremy Bell is Black artistic excellence. Amanda Morgan has known all her life that ballet is her passion. She now dances for the prestigious Pacific Northwest Ballet. Amanda was the inspiration behind NAM's Dr. Carver Gayton Youth's Curator's animation called Washington State's Black Women in the Arts. Amanda Morgan is Black Artistic Excellence. Aviana Rodriguez-Brown gives calm, courage, and critique through her words as a literary and performing artist. 
She has performed on NAMM's stage, inspiring youth and elders alike. Aviana Rodriguez Brown is black artistic excellence. And Samara Rain is a vocalist who has starred in productions from Seattle's beloved teen summer musical to several of NAMM's programs. Samara Rain is black artistic excellence. And we are so pleased that Seattle Seahawks Vice President Karen Wilkins Mickey is with us to share how NAM is advancing equity and justice in the Pacific Northwest. First, we extend special thanks to the many generous individuals, corporations, and foundations who helped make this evening possible. Our title sponsors, Pekar, Satterberg Foundation, Ty Kramer, and Steve Romine, Mimi Gardner-Gates, and Stephanie Ellis-Smith and Douglas Smith. Sustaining sponsors including Ben Bridge Jewelers, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, PNC Bank, and Trial and Error Productions. Supporting sponsors including Facebook, Primera, and Vulcan. Our event sponsors and everyone who has donated and will donate this evening. Tonight is special. PACAR will match every gift of $250 or more and will triple match every gift of $1,000 or more. So give big tonight to our Northwest African American Museum. Together, we can reach our $750,000 goal. Our community needs NAM, and NAM needs you. Let's now welcome the woman leading the vision of this amazing institution, museum trailblazer and tireless community advocate, NAM's president and CEO, Lanisha debarda Laban. Thank you, Lionel. Hello. Thanks so much for being with us virtually as we showcase African-American artistic excellence. This is what NAM does with you and for you. The past year of 2021 has in a sense been no easier than the previous 2020 pandemic year. But nevertheless, since last year this time, thanks to you and with you, NAM has done so much to advance justice and equity through education and the arts. Even during difficult years and trying times like these, NAM celebrates heritage and inspires hope, unity and collective action. With resilience, NAM brings cultural literacy and black artistry to life. That is what tonight is all about. We at NAM deeply believe that history can be used to heal and heritage can inspire hope. This is why we educate to liberate. This is why we bring people together to understand our shared past, to empower our present, and to create an equitable future. Over the past 12 months, in the midst of a continuing pandemic, NAM has held programs with Black Lives Matter, both the Seattle King County chapter and a public conversation with one of the national founders, Alicia Garza. NAM celebrated Seattle's hip hop heritage with local legendary artists. NAM featured leading local black physicians and scientists to inform our community on COVID-19 and the science of vaccinations in partnership with the Pacific Science Center. NAM zoomed in Black Santa and Kwanzaa virtually for kids and families. We took our annual Black Opera program with the Seattle Opera to an outdoor big screen. And we took our Malcolm X Day movie night outdoors. We hosted the descendants of notable African-American leaders, such as Madam C.J. Walker and W.E.B. Du Bois. We honored the Tuskegee Airmen with Comcast. We engaged in a virtual It Takes a Village conversation with Dr. Cornell West of Harvard University. And this was just during the first half of the year. Starting in June, we hosted our first ever nine day Juneteenth week, including a Juneteenth youth night, a jamboree at Judkins Park with countless partners and a national virtual program in partnership with nine other black museums from across the country that attracted over 130,000 viewers.
We launched the nation's first museum choir and named it NAM's African American Cultural Ensemble. We invested in young writers with our summer youth writing camp in partnership with Hugo House. We celebrated a cohort of amazing young people who graduated from our Dr. Carver Gayton Youth Curator Program and who were recognized by the WNBA's Seattle Storm. We took our viewing audience on monthly virtual field trips to black owned businesses, such as a local black owned barbershop, newspaper, beauty salon, flower shop, recording studio, and even an HBCU campus as part of our interactive story time for kids. We held space to celebrate the entire black family from grandparents on Grandparents Day in partnership with AARP and the Mayor's Council on African American Elders to young people on our HBCU Day in partnership with Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Throughout the year, we distributed nearly 10,000 new free African American children's books as part of our Knowledge is Power book giveaway program, thanks to our partners at T-Mobile Foundation. This has been accomplished all in one pandemic year. NAM is a resilient organization. We are doing vital cultural and educational work. What we do is not just for now, but for generations from now. We know the words of Rosa Parks are true when she said, what really matters is not whether we have problems, but how we go through them. She said, we must keep going on to make it through whatever we are facing. Yes, Mrs. Rosa Parks, perseverance is what NAM does.
tales which battle and intertwine, packed with knowledge beyond our years and intuition to keep our third eye wide. Eyes filled with the hopes and wants our ancestors dreamed of. We are beyond their wildest dreams. I wonder, how many others in intertwined bloodline anxiety infects your mind from time to time? For generations, stress could be found in piles of pulled out hair strands, bitten off fingernails, and papers torn to shreds, overeating, indulgent drinking, drug addiction, and self-hate still battled in each one of us to this very minute of this very day. Skin brown from the moment we emerged, or was it not black enough to fit in? Were you dismissed for being too far sun-kissed, separated by laws and the stares of white men and their women, telling you all the things you couldn't do for generation after generation, and still to this day, we continue to be lynched in the streets or betrayed by those clouded by self-hate. But it wasn't all bad, though. We have survived to this very day because of a few like you who stood up. We can sit and drink and marry whomever we choose. Because of a few like you who listened to the voices in their heads and tried to make sense of what was being said, you spoke out and rallied for us. Because of a few like you who explored ways to express, we now create and manifest and believe in the ability to live freely through art, music, and our families. Because of a few like you, they live on in each one of us, in our breath, in our voice, in our hair, in each choice we make, we represent them. We carry them. We cherish them. For generations, our ancestors waited, cried, screamed, and dreamed of us here now with the rights we have won and the ones we will soon take. For generations, our ancestors have been waiting patiently for someone to say the words that I say today, here, now, with these friends as my witness, we welcome our ancestors to guide us, to warn us, to help us, to use us, to be in, around, and through us. We will not give up on this journey towards equality, and we will not stay silent of moments of injustice. We welcome you and the great spirit to express our message to the world in every avenue we choose and gain access to. Because together, we are great. We are knowledge. Together, we are great. We are power. Together, we are great. We are unstoppable. Because together, we are great. NAM is making major moves in community and regional engagement. On any given day, you can find NAM all across our region, interacting with kids and adults alike. NAM caught the attention of one of our local leaders, Karen Wilkins Mickey of the Seattle Seahawks. Karen is the Vice President of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for the Seahawks and an avid supporter of NAM. Welcome, Karen. I am honored to join you this evening. I first learned about NAM a few years ago and I fell in love with the vision, the energy, and the commitment this museum has to equity and inclusion. NAM is more than a museum. NAM serves to build relationships, engage community, and promote understanding and empowerment. Thousands of people throughout the region count on NAM 
to provide a safe space to celebrate our shared heritage, explore our roots, and engage in critical dialogue about timely issues. NAM is a powerful partner for the Seahawks. NAM has been our keynote speaker for Juneteenth, and just this year, NAM and the Seahawks partnered during the Juneteenth Jamboree to inspire action and change lives. Through its collaborations and community partnerships, NAM provides a space where the work of African Americans can be featured and promoted, amplifies the voices of black artists by introducing new audiences to their work, like what we're seeing in tonight's program, and exposes us to the diversity and breadth of African American culture in a way that breaks down stereotypes and introduces youth to black role models. We at the Seahawks are proud to partner with NAM to advance equity and justice through education, history, art, and cultural literacy. NAM advances racial justice and dismantles structural racism each and every day by putting the perspectives and experiences of the African Americans in Pacific Northwest in cultural and historical context. NAM's programs and exhibitions send a strong signal that black lives matter. The museum works to counter historical narratives that overlook the positive contributions of African Americans in our communities by honoring those who helped shape our region and nation. When a people's stories are honored and recognized and the work of the community member is incorporated as a natural and integral part of the whole community, our entire city and state moves forward together. NAM is important to me because it anchors its mission in equity and inclusion. I look forward to the Seahawks and NAM continuing to partner for many years to come. Neither organization can do it alone. To all NAM's members and donors, thank you. Continue to help us grow the organization. Please bring a friend or a family member to the table by connecting them to NAM. Together, we can all make a difference and grow our collective communities to support NAM's vital mission and programs. I was born by the river in a little tent. Oh, and just like the river, I've been running ever since. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know. A change gon' come, oh yes it will. It's been too hard living, but I'm afraid to die. Cause I don't know what's up there beyond the sky. It's been a a long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. I go to the movie and I go downtown. Somebody keep telling me, don't. Hang around. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Then I go to my brother. And I say, brother, help me, please. But he winds up knocking me back down on my knees. Oh, there's been times that I thought I wouldn't last for long. But now I think. 
think I'm able to carry on. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes it will. Hi, my name is Jeremy Bell. I'm a Seattle-based artist and I create artwork that mixes together abstraction and realism. I was born and raised here in Seattle, Washington, uh, off of Holden and Del Ridge. I went to Madison Middle School and for a short stint I went to West Seattle High School. So for me, my creative process can kind of vary. Sometimes I get literal visions, which is always exciting. And then other times I'm just interested in um, communicating a feeling or an idea or even like the essence, you know, of something, a person. When I'm creating, I've always kind of thought of it as flow. Time and space kind of start to slip away and you know you can really get into the groove of things or into the flow of things right there was one experience in particular in which I was painting a really large mural and I remember my professor walked up right behind me and he said that's really powerful and when he said that it was almost like the word powerful hit me in the back and it was like a, a very tangible thing that I felt and I thought to myself, I have power and I can use that power through an image. I think it's imperative that we amplify black art and culture here in our community. So NAM as an institution is this space that exhibits art, but it does so much more, right? It brings people together. There's different events, talks, educational moments. NAM is paramount. It is a beacon. It's a pillar, a safe haven, a refuge. It's one of the few spaces by us and for us, a space that stakes claim and says, these are the things that we're interested in. These are the things that we want to talk about. These are the ideas that we're interested in expressing. And this is a safe place to do that. Without NAM, where would people go? Where would they gather in this safe space that is interested in the diaspora? There's just not too many places like it. Hi, I'm Aviana Rodriguez-Brown, and I want to say thank you so much for supporting NAM. It's so great to have a source of history here in the Central District where we still are. And so it's really great to have that support, not only as a cultural arts center, but also to actually have local artists up in the gallery. It's so great to be able to come here and see my friend's work on the walls. So thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you for all the book readings and bringing authors here from around the world. Thank you so much and shout out to the staff for all your hard work. Unity, that's what it's all about. NAM is an organization that is focused on the essential work of what it's all about, education, equity, and empowerment. I can say that I'm glad that NAM is here. Seattle and the Pacific Northwest are fortunate to have NAM an institution that is creating opportunities for intergenerational and multicultural audiences to engage in meaningful cross-racial conversations. NAM is holding space for racial equity, social justice empowerment, informed activism, and community connection. So let's support and stand with this museum. Give your best gift to NAM so these amazing programs can remain strong for our youth and for all in our community. Right now, we've raised $600,000. So let's take our giving to the top. Thanks to Packer Foundation, 
Donations of $250 or more are matched dollar for dollar, and gifts of $1,000 or more are triple matched. So to donate, go to NAM's website or click the Donate button on the event platform. NAM's mission is inspiring. It's vibrant and it's essential. That's why we have so many exciting projects on the horizon. We are bringing Harriet Tubman's great, great, great grandniece virtually to Seattle as part of our next Descendant Series program. We are bringing Dr. King's eldest son, Martin Luther King III, to Seattle to commemorate the 60th anniversary of Dr. King's 1961 Seattle visit. We are bringing the descendants of Booker T. Washington, Frederick Douglass, Charles Drew, and others to Seattle next year as part of our Descendants Series program. We are launching a James Baldwin Circle to showcase African-American writers who use their writing to advance justice and equity, with local journalist Marcus Green as the inaugural James Baldwin Circle Fellow. We are partnering with HBCUs across the country to start a Back to the Yard series, showcasing HBCU professors discussing relevant topics such as the importance of critical race theory with our regional community. We are preparing to host our first Black History Month symposium for teachers to equip teachers with tools, resources, and inspiration to infuse their curriculum with Black history, art, and culture. We are starting a Teen Leadership Council, TLC, and we will offer Kiswahili family learning courses to name a few of our new initiatives. NAM is not slowing down because what we do is essential. What we do is a necessity. And now that we have secured an electric outreach van, thanks to our partners at Amazon, what we do is mobile. We will do more even further, building a regional platform for black excellence. You've seen a glimpse of it tonight. Now you can support it and be part of it. There's so much in store for NAM in 2022 and beyond. When you support NAM, you are supporting Black artistic excellence, Black history, Black futures, and Black well-being. Thank you to all of tonight's sponsors whose generosity made this showcase possible. Thank you to all who have given and will give to this Unity benefit. You are a friend of NAM and we are grateful for you. Thank you to tonight's talented artists and program participants. Thank you to NAM's board, supporters, volunteers, and to our hardworking staff. NAM continues to reach higher heights because of them and because of all of you. Together, we're doing as Maya Angelou poetically instructed us to do. Rise, rise, and steal together we rise. This is a museum that is looking to its future with community in mind. Their energy is contagious. Their joy is evident. They're doing their part, so let's please do ours. Give big and give generously. Give in the name of a loved one. Tell others to give. NAM has consistently served as a space that centers, affirms, and values black lives. NAM uses black history, art, and culture as starting points to inspire, empower, and inform all. You all have a role to play in this essential work. Every gift moves NAM and its vision forward. Thank you for joining us tonight. Keep the giving coming. It's inspiring. Let's show the region and the nation how much this work matters. So let's meet our $750,000 goal tonight. We can't do this work without you. You make it possible. Thank you.
Thank you.